New report about DNC hacker blows hole wide open through Russian narrative by us4trump.com. Does everyone recall when the DNC complained about their servers being hacked? Yes. And they immediately blamed it on the Russians to further their Russia, Russia, Russia agenda? <laughs> yes, indeed. Moreover, on April 20th, 2018, the DNC decides to sue Russia. Trump campaign, WikiLeaks, and Julian Assange, among others, for the DNC hack. Wired, a tech uh, a tech uh, magazine reports the uh, Sioux News. Well, it turns out that Zero Hedge has discovered that very detailed technical traces have proved the, that the hack of the DNC actually initiated here in the United States. Wow, what a shocker! which pretty much blows a hole in the scripted DNC idea that Russia hacked their servers. Is that why you guys wouldn't turn over the servers? Is that the reason why? Look at those faces. I mean, really? Unbelievable. Zero Hedge reports the logical conclusion drawn from, from the uh, preceding analysis is that Guccifer 2.0 was operating somewhere on the west coast of the United States when they made their change uh, to that document. This single finding throws into shambles any other conclusions that might indicate that Guccifer 2.0 was operating out of Russia. This latest finding also adds to the previously cited evidence that the persona was probably operated by multiple individuals located in the United States. All posts taken all together, the factual basis of the Russian hacking story totally collapses. We are left instead with multiple traces of a U.S.-based operation that created the appearance of evidence that Kremlin-allied hackers had breached the DNC network. Publicly available data suggests that Guccifer 2.0 is a U.S.-based operation. To this, we add... The forensicators' recent findings that Guccifer 2.0 deliberately planted Russian deliberately planted Russian fingerprints into his first document, as reported by disobedient media. A former DNC official statement that a document with so-called Russian fingerprints was not, in fact, taken from the DNC, as reported by disobedient media. This, the media's role in propagating the connection between early Russian hacking allegations and the Guccifer 2.0 persona, as reported by disobedient media. The DNC appears to be issuing lawsuits simply to keep the idea that Russia hacked their servers alive and well. You think? and cost the taxpayers $20 million for a Mueller's investigation also, right? All Russia related. This will help them going into the midterm elections. Remember also that the Podesta emails were hacked and he used the password. Password? Yeah, don't do that, folks. And James Comey announced on January 20th, 2017, that the RNC was the victim of an attempted hack, although the RNC says that is not true. <laughs> and since the Trump campaign had a spy there to help the Trump campaign, in, in, in quotes, 
As reported by the New York Times on May 18, 2018, it begs the question, where was the DNC spy to help them? In closing, let us know what you think. <laughs> Do you think the Russians have been messing around with elections for decades? Or do you think the DNC has discovered a vast conspiracy to not elect her and that's why she lost? Yeah, she lost because she was a decrepit old witch. That's why she lost. She's an evil human being. That's why she lost. She was falling, she's still falling apart. You have to pick up the pieces. You have to have a handler for her to just keep her together. And that Podesta, evil, evil, there is no such evil that I have seen. Uh, in Hillary and Podesta, Bill Clinton doesn't even match up to the evilness of these two characters here. These are the ringleaders here, right here, what you're looking at right here. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.